Thank you for joining us for our Atlantic English program on radio television of Burkina Faso. President of Faso, Rock Magrissa Kabori, took part in the fifth edition of the African International Development Forum in Casablanca in Morocco. The forum was held under the topic of the inclusive development new model in Africa. Burkina Faso was the honor guest country of this edition. Rock Magrissa Kabori presided over the opening ceremony of this edition that gathered together hundreds of businessmen. The purpose of the forum is to redefine new ideas to boost the development in the African continent. At the end of the forum, several African businessmen who have been promoting good practices in terms of development inside the continent were awarded. Idrissa Nasa from Kouris Bank International Burkina Faso was awarded the Waimu Trophy. President of Faso mm -hmm. also received an honorific award for having contributed in the success of the edition 2017 of this forum. A new gold mining industry was opened on Friday in the north region of Burkina Faso. The mining will produce about 25 tons of gold per year for seven years. Bisa Gold is exploiting the mining. The mining minister, Umaru Idani, says this will generate about 21 billion of CFA franc in terms of income for the state budget and it will create about 200 jobs. The local population will also benefit from social infrastructures, according to leaders of Bisa Gold. Airtel, a telephone company, becomes officially Orange. The new owner of this company met journalists to present Orange and to explain the way the group will be working in Burkina Faso. The deputy CEO of the group said they will focus on the quality of the service. More details with Omar Zombri. The rebranding is done. Started almost one year ago, the process of changing the name Airtel to Orange Burkina has been successfully completed. And this press conference, organized by the staff of Orange Company, coming from France, Cote d'Ivoire, and of course from Burkina, announces and confirms this rebranding. The exception for Orange in terms of rebranding is that it's not only to change the shops, it's much more. It is a new experience for consumers. That means clearly that we have to revisit all our offers in terms of price, in terms of quality. We invest a lot of a new network to adapt the network. So at the end, that means clearly that the experience of Orange consumer is much better than before. And to transform the network, to adapt the equipments, to define new offers, clearly it takes much time, generally between uh, nine and 12 months and it was the case for Burkina Faso. From Celtel to Orange, going through Zane and Airtel, that is the fourth time that this company changed a name and operator. For Ben Cech Aydara, CEO at Orange Burkina, Orange Burkina is here to stay and for a long time. Since the, the president of Orange Middle East and Africa uh, has confirmed the same, I can say yes, Orange is there for a long time and for a very long time and you know the strategy of this uh, group is uh, really to stay for long and uh, if you don't aim to stay for long you can't invest in fiber optic uh, that kind of investment uh, which are huge and for what the, the return is quite long then you have to stay at least for that. Many customers were complaining about the internet service of Airtel. For Bruno Metling, Deputy Chief Executive Officer of Orange, things are going to be different. New experience is now for our customers. But I announce, with your help, that for the new year we invest a lot and we completely transform the experience of the customer. That's been clearly that Orange has a high standard level. We insist on that and we will be able to transform the experience of our customers. I'm sure of this success. The acquisition cost of Airtel Burkina has not been revealed during this press conference. For Bruno Metling, this is part of the business secret. However, Orange Burkina wants to invest more than 32 million euro, of which one third in fiber optic. Concerning jobs, insurance has been given to journalists that nobody will lose his job and even better from 260 employees before the rebranding process orange now has 263 employees 
International INA will members held by 15th General Assembly in Burkina Faso. The purpose of this meeting is to measure result of different activities of clubs of INA wheels, but also to define ways and means to better support vulnerable population. For more details, I invite you to listen to one of the INA wheel members. I am usually invited all over the world where we have inner wheel in 103 countries and anywhere as the international president I get invited and I oblige the invitation by attending the assembly. As the president it is your obligation to think of what you tell clubs all over the world what they should focus on and I chose touch a heart to touch a heart in the kindness of our words, touching the heart in the way we treat the heart, touch a heart in the way we treat other people. Minding your words, minding your emotions, be kind to people, responding with a simple smile, which does not cost money. When a heart is touched physically, it becomes diseased. The only way you touch a heart is by your emotions and your actions and your kindness. Here, Inner Wheel has a seat at the UN, and the topic discussed was prevention and campaign of awareness against female genital mutilation. It has no medical benefit for any girl. It can only dehumanize the woman. It can only affect them emotionally. And when they are ready to give back to children, some of them are unable to do so, and they end up in cesarean operation, at times losing the mother and the child. Leaders of international inner will paid a visit to Prime Minister Paul Kabatiba. Those women say they have come to present the association to the head of the government of Burkina Faso and to deal with the content of the General Assembly that is taking place in Ouagadougou. About 50 militaries from the Burkina National Armed Forces have just ended a three weeks training in the framework of Flink Lock. The purpose of the training is to give them more techniques to face terrorism. The training was conducted by American soldiers. The story is by Umar Zomri. This is just a simulation and we are at Camp General Bilazagre of Kambwensen for the Flintlock military exercise. By this exercise, servicemen of Burkina are showing their capacity and skills to stop a vehicle drove by terrorists and capture them. This exercise is performed in collaboration with the military support of the United States of America. <laughs> I have seen fabulous work by the Burkinabe soldiers in partnership with American trainers who are bringing expertise acquired throughout conflict zones over the world here today together with our Burkinabe friends and colleagues to better prepare against the threats that are um, so important uh, to our shared values of democracy, tolerance and human rights. After this training, some more are coming in the future, still in the same spirit of building the capacities of Burkina soldiers. So this cooperation is part and parcel of a long-term history of cooperation in the security zones between the United States and Burkina Faso. So we expect to do some future training and um, with the use of some material that is helpful for the forces as they deploy to the sens sensitive zones in, uh, in Burkina Faso. For the Minister of Defense, this military cooperation is very important regarding the terrorist threat that the country is facing. The exercise on which we are going to assist, the Flintlock 2017, is an exercise. The exercise that we've just seen will help in building our army capabilities. As you know, we're facing many challenges related to terrorism in the northern part of the country. And I think that this training comes at the right moment. It could help us to reply properly and efficiently to those challenges on the ground in the coming days. Said Jean-Claude Bouda, Minister of Defense. Fifty servicemen are taking part to this 2017 Flintlock training. All have received some attestation of participation. While this exercise is taking place at Ouagadougou, another one is being conducted at Bobojulaso in collaboration with the Dutch Army. 
and to help security forces facing terrorism, the government of Burkina Faso gave 200 motorcycles to security forces. The security minister, Simo Kompaure, says this engine will allow security forces better fulfill their mission. There are some areas where we cannot go with vehicles and we have to increase progressively the number of motorcycles to make easy the patrol, he added. Thank you for watching. Stay connected to radio television of Burkina Faso from Wagadugu to enjoy your weekend. Take care and next time.